Hi! This story takes place in Japan. Japan is a country in the continent of Asia. It's called Natsumi's Song of Summer, written by Robert Paul Weston and illustrated by Misa Saburi. In lotus season, with petals on every pond, Natsumi was born. That was how she got her name. It means the sea in summer. She loved everything about summertime. Swimming, running on soft grass, the sun, the heat, the cool bursts of plum rain, heavy and sweet. Do you like summer like Natsumi does? I do. But what she loved most were summer's insects, gleaming, crawling, fluttering. With their songs and bright bodies, the air itself came to life. There were butterflies with their striped and spotted wings and the sudden sparks of fireflies and honeybees fizzing flower to flower. Do you like insects? I like some insects and some I need a little bit of space from. There were mantises, long green monks, always praying, and the speckled gems of ladybirds, red rubies upon deep blue bell flowers. But nothing could beat the chirp of cicadas. Her mother would say, summer has not yet begun until their song fills the air. On hot Saturdays, Natsumi and her parents went searching for them. With soft nets on bamboo poles, they reached up rustling them free. Natsumi sometimes let one crawl along her arm. It tickled her skin while its body drummed and chirped. Then, wings flitting, it was gone. Would you let a cicada crawl on your arm? I don't know. Natsumi's birthday would soon arrive, and this year it would be special. Someone would come to visit from the far side of the sea. It was her cousin, a girl named Jill, but someone who was a stranger. Although they were related, the two girls had never met. But now, this summer, Jill and her parents at last had planned a visit. Natsumi was excited, but she was also nervous. What would Jill be like? What would they have in common? Would they become friends? Or perhaps they would quarrel? That means when you get into a small argument. There was no way of knowing. At the huge airport, Natsumi saw her cousin weaving through the crowds, grinning and anxious, her eyes bright with curiosity. Show me everything, Jill chimed, her voice like a bell. Everything there is. Everything? asked Natsumi. Where would she even begin? Have you been to an airport before? at the beach where hot sand powdered their toes and cool on their tongues mouthfuls of watermelon turned their lips a rosy pink mm, I love watermelon mm. 
or at the Oban festival, where together they danced, hands waving, giving thanks to the spirits of their countless ancestors. Or by the river, their faces tipped to the stars, watching the fireworks as they bloomed in the night sky, all the colors of summer. Everywhere they went, Jill squinted into the trees, listening closely and asking the same question. What is all that biz buzzing? Do you know what it is? Jill came from a place where there were few cicadas. She had never seen their large eyes and glossy wings or their chittering hum. Natsumi wanted to show them to her cousin, but she was worried. Insects frightened some people. What if Jill was frightened too? Here I see the cicadas on the tree. Natsumi's birthday arrived with a bright blue sky but Jill still squinted into the treetop shadows where hidden cicadas thrummed. I'll show them to you, Natsumi said. She scampered into the cool house and returned with two soft nets, each atop a bamboo pole. They swept the branches and a pair of cicadas looped down to meet them. Would Jill be scared? Would she scream? No, she crouched low, eyes sparkling. They're born underground, Natsumi explained. For years, they wait in darkness. But then, when they're old enough, they climb out to meet their friends. Just like us, said Jill, waiting and waiting. And now we finally met. Natsumi smiled. She and Jill were truly two of a kind. They quietly watched the two crawling cicadas as their bodies drummed. Min, 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 min. Then, excuse me, then wings flitting, they were gone. In the afternoon, they drew pictures together. Natsumi's drawing was one of the two cicadas but Jill sketched out something else. Elegant green wings with two black and yellow spots like half winking eyes. What is it? asked Nusimi, Natsumi. I've never seen one before. Do you know what it is that Jill is drawing? Let's find out. It's a luna moth, said Jill. I think you'll see one when you visit me. Natsumi nodded, her eyes bright with curiosity. She knew tomorrow Jill would fly home, but for now they sat side by side and listened as the warm sky filled with the song of summer. And that was Natsumi's Song of Summer. <laughs>